Hey everybody, it's a beautiful Friday, February 12th, it's Global Movie Day, and it's time for The Wise Guys and Girl, sponsored by Kmart, the best in defunct retail. Kmart, love where you're locked down. As always, let's start with Sir and the weather. EPJD, this one's for you. Friday is February 12th, and it's currently minus 12 degrees. Unfortunately, feeling a lot closer to minus 21. Working our way up to a balmy high of minus 8 today. Snow showers and mostly cloudy throughout the day. Looks like it'll be a bit of everything this weekend. A little snow, a little sun, a little cloud. And uh, a very weekend, everyone. Minus 12 on the 12th. And I love the melange that you're forecasting. Hopefully some warmer days ahead are coming. Well, Global Movie Day honors the way movies have captured our hearts and minds for over a hundred years. Movies have transcended geography, language, time, and culture, connecting us all through the power of storytelling. My sister tells a story of our Jiju, uh, knowing what was going to happen to the Titanic historically. He told everyone he could, and you know what they did? They threw him out of the theater. <laughs> And you all know that the Star Wars movies came out in the sequence four, five, six, one, two, three, because in charge of sequence, Yoda was. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> uh, one thing I don't understand about horror movies is that they make look uh, they make digging a grave look so easy. It usually takes me days to accomplish that. <laughs> That's you've been doing in the backyard. And, and, and for Burt Reynolds' family, it apparently took two years. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's uh, this weekend we're finally going to watch that movie about clocks. It is about time. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's handy. Today's a perfect setup for Ventura, but before we get to Ventura, it's time for Tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what are we listening to today? So today, you know, knowing what the theme is in terms of Global Movie Day, um, thinking of a global artist, that there have been lots of documentaries and even actually a Broadway show. Um, I'm talking about Fela Kuti today. Now, Fela Kuti is not somebody I grew up with. A lot of music that was like before 1970, whatever, before I was able to really know what I was listening to, I got from my parents, right? Um, but he was never one that I heard, but I've always been intrigued. And um, I'm just, when I'm intrigued by an artist, I usually try to do like a deep dive into the catalog. And today I was just listening to some um, on Apple Music Essentials. You just, you know, click it, click the artist and it plays music. And there's a song I couldn't pass. You know, when you hit that song and you can't yeah. go past, keep it birthing. So it's a song called Water, No Get No Enemy. It's hard to say that in my, you know, Canadian English. <laughs> Wata no get no enemy, right? right. And Bella Kuti is, or was, a Nigerian um, artist who really, I think, exemplifies in a way, when I think about Black History Month and what it means to be Black, it, it it's a constant search for self, right? Like, I'm, you know, I'm Jamaican, but I know that my ancestry is African. But it's a constant search for you know, who was I before the transatlantic slave, slave trade? Because many black stories begin with the transit, transatlantic slave trade. Many of us don't know. We were never taught. There were no books, it, you know. And even if there were books, there weren't there weren't books that were right, widely circulated. And so music becomes that language for us, right? It it connects us together. And so when I listened to that song today, I heard a little bit of the bossa nova in Brazil. I heard a little bit of like ska in Jamaica. I heard a little bit about Calypso in, in Trinidad. And in a way, it kind of unifies the diaspora. And I think that's why I love this type of music. But this song, um, what's interesting is that it's based on a proverb. And so really the lyrics is just that, Wata no get no enemy. But it is a nine minute song, okay? <laughs> it's literally four words, but it means a lot because it's a proverb. And I know we do this in Jamaica and also in Trinidad a lot, where you take a proverb. If you remember a few weeks ago, we talked about Cat Fit, uh, the song by Bob Marley. We talked about how that proverb kind of, if you know about it, speaks to the song, right? So um, that proverb for this song, in terms of the song title, 
It says it's based on a Yoruba proverb concerning the power of nature. Live in harmony with nature. Fela advises, and you will live longer and wiser. So water doesn't have any enemies, right? It flows. And if you listen to this song, it just flows. It's, it's an absolute beautiful song. I actually got my dad dancing this morning. Um, so if you want something that has meaning, but just allows you to move and reflect and think, um, go ahead and really listen to the whole catalog. But that's that's my pick today. That's the song. So Fela Kuti, again, lots of movies, musicals, um, documentaries on him. He's a very complicated man, uh, but a great man all the less. So there we go. That's my pick. Excellent. You know, I've been remiss in keeping up our Apple uh, playlist. I'm going to have to revive that, and uh, Fela Kuti will be number one on that list. All right. It is time for Ventures with Venturo. What is today's adventure heading into the long weekend? Uh, it's, it's Friday. Uh, it's going to be an awesome Friday and a good long weekend. Uh, family family day is coming up on Monday. So my suggestion for today is a family movie. Uh, do you guys have any good family movies you want to share with our gang before I jump into mine? Uh, I got a whole bunch of uh, VHSs my sister wants me to bring into the Costco. Uh, some of them, there's some parties in that that are just hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, I think I will share those with you guys. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other good family movies out there? If you can, yeah. a bit more specific. <laughs> You know, there's one from uh, maybe 15 years ago. Maybe not such a family movie, but great music, great uh, cooking scenes with Stanley Tucci and Tony Shalhoub um, called Big Night. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, if you're into music and cooking, uh, a great movie, Big Night. I I, I was going to share mine, but uh, JD gave away the plot line. Uh, so don't bother watching Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Things as uplifting, quite like Titanic. Oh man! As long as you fast forward through a couple of the sketch scenes, you should be okay. <laughs> oh, so, I have a well. It's a series, and again, back to the, it's not a family movie in a sense, but it is. But I remember watching Roots as a family, as a child, um, yeah, and I, I think um, I remember my dad insisting. Like, you know, you're a little kid, you want to watch anything that your parents are watching. He was like, no, we're sitting here for the whole seven nights or however long it was and we're watching it. And um, yeah, it's not like a happy-go-lucky story, you know? But I do think it's an important movie to watch as a family, particularly if you're trying to introduce your kids to, you know, a portion of the history that they don't re really get to see. So that's one to watch, for sure. Break it up, though, you know? You might need to break it up, but that's, that's one to watch. All right, awesome. So my, my movie pick for this long weekend, and, and you can find this one on Netflix, it's called Wonder. And it's about a boy that, a very interesting story. After being homeschooled for all his life, a boy with facial differences attends a traditional school where he must find friends among his bullies. Starring Julia Roberts, Owen Wilson, and Jacob Chumbley, it's a very good movie to watch and I'm definitely going to be watching this one with the kids. So go check this one out. It's called Wonder. It's available on Netflix. So that's my movie pick for this long weekend. Have a good one, everybody. Right on. Great choice. Thanks, Venturo. All right. It is the end of the week. It's Friday. Time for Friday's Joke of the Week. Well, you know, I've always been a, a believer in uh, that sort of Seinfeld uh, notion of comedy where you connect completely random things together and you know each of the people i'm going to mention has some sort of connection to um they've either been in a movie be it a documentary they've been part of a soundtrack or they've starred in it and uh it's just interesting that they all have that kind of activity so i'm going to share what i observed you know arnold schwarzenegger has a long one michael j fox has a short one Madonna does not have one. The Pope does not really use his. And Justin Bieber always uses his. What is it, you ask? Of course, her last name. (laughs) 
Well done, sir. Great connectivity. Well, have a great Friday and a great long weekend, everyone. That is it for us. Uh, thanks to our fans and friends and odds and ends for listening. We are the Wise Guys and Girl, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday. 